first step is applying for what well, is one more vote from city council in two weeks, and they, then they approve the project. Then we need permits from both the planning board and the conservation commission, and those we're applying for within the next month, probably public hearings, probably in July or August, maybe September, um, and then the rest is all funding. So we're going through the fund. You know, the, the, the public hearing sign is primarily about applying for this four hundred thousand dollar grant. If we get it, then there will be some construction next year. If we don't get it, we're putting it off. So we really want money for construction, but buying the land is, once we do that, we know it happens eventually. Right. Well, we think it's all positive, which is obviously why we're advocating this. But you know, the, the long term is easier, because guessing what happens one year from now versus 10 is harder. Mm -hmm. But the long term is 35,000 square feet of commercial space, office and light industrial which would be $50,000 of property tax and 88 jobs using typical multipliers, which is sort of guessing. Um, and providing boat access for kids in the high school and for, for other people to use. Um, cleaning up some of the mess along the river. So like right now, the, the old New Haven or Hampton Canal comes through here, but you can't actually see it because it's covered with concrete blocks. So cleaning that up, getting rid of some of the invasive. So, so all those things, 10 years from now are exciting. The short term is a lot more speculative. The immediate piece will be the taxes, the, these, these jobs as they're created. Again, we estimate about $50,000 a year in taxes, which is, doesn't make it a biggest taxpayer by a long shot, but it's a significant boost for the city as that goes forward. Um, the cost in terms of running the site, um, we think our minimal, there's a lot of costs for the boathouse, but we don't intend to be in the boathouse business. We hope to work with the wrong groups that they would actually run those for us. But there's always going to be some cost for doing it. Our, our projection for build out for the commercial is 35,000 square feet. That's assuming they get build out, and that's assuming that these are office jobs. Light industrial, for example, generates fewer jobs per thousand, so it could be less. Likewise, for taxes, this assumes it's not nonprofits. So, you know, it's a lot of guesswork, but that's about the average. It would have no effect on non parks projects, this is a different pool. So, you know, if we don't get the money, you can't spend any other money for it. Um, one recreation project does potentially compete with another recreation project. And so we do an annual sit down each year for the Look Park, DPW, Recreation Department, Planning Office, and of course the Mayor's Office to prioritize the projects. So we originally thought Look Park would be applying for a grant this year, and they weren't ready, and so that's why we're doing this now. So we're very carefully doing this so we're not competing with city projects.